بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so ntp stands for network time protocol it's a protocol which allows you to have a common synchronous time between the networking devices because when you are implementing some network all the devices must have a common synchronous time because there are some other services which are dependent on having a common time like you must have a accurate clock settings which are required for logging with the accurate time stamps like like in the previous sessions we we configured something like syslog servers and all the devices send uh, log messages whatever the log message generated so probably these log messages you can use them to keep a track of the events happening now it actually shows you the details of what is the event occur and what time from which device now if you don't have a proper synchronous time then the problem is you may not be able to see the correct uh, correct details because you don't have a proper synchronous time so it will be difficult for the administrator to figure out uh, those log messages and the events apart from that you might be using something like acls you may want to deny a specific traffic let's say the http traffic during the office hours from 9 am to 5 pm so when the traffic is moving through the router you need to make sure that this device have a common or a proper uh, proper time and that time has to match with the other devices also because if if your server or the user who is sending the traffic having a different time and the router is having a different time in that case you know some some time based acls may not work if you don't have a proper time synchronization of course if you're using some kind of advanced security vpns like we use some digital certificate validation for maybe for my web browsers or maybe for vpns if you don't have a proper synchronous time your digital certificates may not be validated and also for other other mechanisms like uh, there is something called single sign on mechanisms uh, it's like uh, it's a kind of authentication used for multiple applications and for them to work as well as you need to have a common synchronous time as well so ntp network usually gets its time from the source so so to have a proper synchronous time we'll configure a device with an ntp server and we expect all the devices to contact the ntp server and whatever the time uh, time present on the on, on this particular device we we can tell the device to synchronize the time between these devices so we can either use our own internal server where i can may select any router or any server or any pc or any device as an ntp server and synchronize the time from all the devices or you can also contact or you can also uh, configure some external time source on the internet as well so the ntp server usually gets the time from the authority authority to time source it it's just like a radio clock or the atomic clock attached to the time server and then this server is responsible for distributing the time across the different uh, across the complete network and we call them as ntp clients now with ntp there is something called stardom value like now ntp server can be two types like the ntp server can be a server on the internet like we can configure a route a device our device to contact some external clocks on the internet now you'll find some external clocks on the internet like if you just go and search for some external clocks uh, ntp time servers servers probably you search with some keywords you'll find some different time servers now you can configure your device to contact this external clock servers to synchronize the time so it can be an external clock which always have a startup value of 0 that is actually the hops in terms of are similar to rap hop counts and we can configure my device let's say i have a router here and this is my ntp client and this device is going to contact my external clock server and get the time synchronized and then i can configure my internal devices let's say i got some other routers and and pcs other devices so they will contact this server and for all these users this is my ntp server and these are my clients 
So we can still configure this device to contact the external server, but practically, you know, not scalable because, you know, you don't want each and every device to contact the external clock and synchronize the time uh, as per the, your region. Uh, that's the reason we can configure our own internal server and we can either manually set the time on this particular server or I can co configure this device to contact the external clock to synchronize the time from the external clock. So if I'm synchronizing from external clock, then this is going to be my client and this is going to be my server. And then this is going to be server for all my internal clients. So, so by default, uh, the external clock will have a default startup value of zero. That is the time server on the internet, sorry. Uh, it will be always one. Uh, so standard value of one on all the servers which don't run NTP in general. So we can configure a startup value of two like like this server external clock. If it is sending a time to my server, my, which is my client, let's say this is my client. Um, if I, if I config if this startup value is one here, then it becomes two, and it becomes a client for all the remaining devices. Now we got some other clients. Who are synchronizing the time from this device and you can also configure this device to become a server for other clients now the startup value will increment automatically so startup value actually tells how many hops your actual time source is away and the default startup value will be one for all the servers which don't run NTP like the time servers on the internet and to whichever the device you 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 give the time the next device will become two and this is my server and we have other clients and this may be the server for some other clients it becomes three like that 